undisturbed rainforests of western Amazonia host the world's richest frog fauna. The majority of the Amazonian frog species are nocturnal tree dwellers and virtually undetectable during the day. The only frog voices heard throughout the day at the Peruvian rainforest study site Panguana are produced by dart poison frogs. These exclusively diurnal frogs form a distinctive faunal element of the leaf litter and off-ground stratum, which is characterized by fallen logs, superficial root structures, and vines. During the rainy season, when bodies of water begin to form, the calling and breeding activities of the dart poison frogs are at their height. From elevated positions, males acoustically advertise their readiness to mate and to defend their territories against conspecific calling individuals. Mating occurs within the male's territory. Terrestrial eggs develop in hidden oviposition sites within the leaf litter. Embryonic development lasts between two and three weeks. Once the outer gills are reduced, the larvae hatch and are carried on the back of their father to an aquatic site where larval development will be completed. Prior to calling, the territorial male quickly takes up air through the nostrils into the inflating lungs. Calls of Epipetobetus trivitatus consist of regularly repeated notes and may last up to two and a half minutes. The call energy is concentrated in a narrow frequency band. The short sweeps start at 2.2 and end at 2.4 kilohertz. Here, a section of a call will be demonstrated in a spectrogram. Horizontally, the time scale is given in seconds. The vertical scale represents the frequency range between 0 and 7 kilohertz. During vocalization, air oscillates between the lungs and the subgular vocal sac, while the mouth and nostrils remain closed. Sound is generated in the expiratory phase, as is clearly demonstrated in slow motion. With a snout vent length of 38 millimeters, males of Epipetobetus trivitatus are the largest among the dendrobatid frogs in this rainforest study area. Calling sites of territorial males are located at a mean height of 45 centimeters. Elevated perch sites allow better sound propagation and sound perception than stations within the leaf litter. Fallen logs are the preferred calling stations of Epipetobetus femoralis. Calls of this 26 millimeter sized frog consist of frequency modulated notes. The frequency range of the calls extends from 2.6 to 3.3 kilohertz. The advertisement call structure of the Epipetobetus femoralis population of this Peruvian rainforest area is unique. The calls are composed of repeated units of three notes whereas the units of all other known populations throughout the Amazon basin are made up of either two or four notes. Here, the three-note call units of the Panguana population are shown in slow motion. Calling stations are found at a mean height of 18 centimeters. By using several specific calling stations, each male defines its own territory, ranging from 1 square meter to 26 square meters in size.
the male frog may continuously occupy a territory and advertise it acoustically for 100 days or even more. Whereas Epipetobates femoralis is a common dweller in the leaf litter in rather flat areas, Epipetobates petersi, a similarly sized frog, is found only in the understory of sloped, somewhat rocky habitats near forest creeks. Calls of this species consist of a long series of double note units. The frequency range of its advertisement call partially overlaps with that of Epipetobetus femoralis and ranges from 3.1 to 3.8 kilohertz. Epipetobetus petersi is endemic to this part of the Amazon and its social and breeding behavior have not yet been studied. The tiny 19 mm sized Epipetobetus pictus is found in low densities within the leaf litter stratum, where it feeds on small arthropods. Its calls consist of a series of regularly repeated units comprising one or two notes. Vocalizations are high pitched and the sound energy is concentrated between 4.8 and 5.3 kilohertz. The vocal sac in male Epipetobetus pictus is highly conspicuous when inflated. Its white spots flash during 